Hello and welcome to the world of Monster Sanctuary. Uh, this is a good game. I had this game for a long time, and I've just never played it. Uh, what I've told, uh, kind of know about it. It's kind of like Pokemon, and except it's way more in depth, and then it's nothing like Pokemon, and then it's just different. It's not. Even I, I'm not even going to try to compare it to Pokemon, but it's other than, you know, you have creatures and you fight. <laughs> That's it. That's all the comparisons I have. But, uh, yeah, this is uh, me playing it, though. And, of course, uh, to start off the story, you know, you choose between a red boy and a blue girl. Obviously, I choose red boy since I'm a boy. And, of course... Uh, I have to pick a name, you know, it's something special, it's something that uh, it's going to be my name throughout the whole story, you know, the whole narrative, and of course, I'm unoriginal, and I choose my own name, Icy, so, hooray for originality. Icy. The monster sanctuaries are far, land far from any of the human civilization. For wild monsters are dangerous to humans, monsters raised by them who are loyal to their owners. Most of the people in the monster sanctuary reside in the Keeper's Stronghold. I mean, if you can have a slime following you around, that's pretty cool. Many of them learn to raise and train monsters. Call themselves monster kids. Choose a familiar of your bloodline. And so, and so, now that you're properly introduced to the world, uh, you know they're called monster keepers. So after deliberating over the stats and determining, you know who's the best starter objectively for what I like to do uh basically I said throw all that out to the wind all I know from Pokemon is all I did was attack moves so I'm just going to get the guy with the attack so I ended up getting Spectral Eagle I'm gonna just take attack oh among the most prestigious monster keepers, there are four prominent old bloodlines tied to the monster sanctuary's history. Each of those bloodlines aided by a spectral familiar. Those familiars are ageless protectors of their family, passed on from one keeper to the next. I see he's just starting out to become a monster keeper, like his ancestors before him. Firebird, go! As all side monster keepers, his journey begins on the keeper's trail. His bloodline familiar bears the form of a spectral eagle. Name your familiar. Ah, oh, fuck. And now it's the fateful moment to name, name your eagle first eagle Pokemon. I mean, no, 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 uh, no, no, no. monster. No. So, uh, with all of my cunning and all of my wit, and all of my knowledge of different words for fire and different words for bird, I finally decided to pick Fire Eagle. Yeah, there we go, Fire Eagle. Just fucked up Fire Eagle. No, 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 just fire. Alright. The ultra... <laughs> the ultra unique name of fire. Hey, I never said I was good at making names. All I said is I made a name. So your starter Pokemon gives you the rundown, gives you a mission, and now you're off. And the first task you have to deal with is finding a bunch of slimes. This year fight by contact. We shall see if you live up to your ancestors. Ah! Alright, 
start combat. Oh, choose monster. Oh, wait, just start combat. Player's turn. Ooh, I have explosion lightning bolt feathers from all attacks, just how I like it. All right, cool. Let them both. Oh, nice. Okay. Okay. Well, just another lightning bolt. Fucking zap that motherfucker. Hell yeah. And this is where you're introduced to the results screen. So basically, every fight gives you a scale, gives you a grade out of five stars. So it's determined by how quickly you finish the fight, how much, how many combos you do in a fight, basically how many little things chain together, and pretty much how much health you lose. So basically, the faster you do it, the stronger you hit, the more combos you get, the better rewards. It's because I took damage. It's probably because I took damage. Damn. I got a blob egg and copper. Alright. There's some XP for you, buddy. There we go. You see the blob egg. Now you need to hatch it. Open your inventory and try to hatch it. Alright. And here we see the first real difference from Pokemon. Uh, you don't catch Pokemon other than you fight Pokemon, you fight monsters, <clears throat> excuse me, you fight monsters, and then you get their eggs, and then you hatch them. So, this is also, this is also very, uh, unique. And also, yes, I did name the slime Bob. Why? Because the, it was named Blob. So, now I have a blob named Bob. Humor. Let's continue on the Keeper's Trail. I will lead us to Old Buran, a friend of mine. He's a patient teacher to all young Keepers who seek guidance. I advise you to listen to him carefully. And so, after that quick tutorial, we finally start our way through the Keeper's Trial. On the way, there's several more fights against blobs, and we find our newest companion. Alright. Oh, hey. Step on it. Magma pillow. Alright, let me crack over this egg. A magma pillar. Well just because of what it was named. It is now Markiplier. Hello everybody, my name is Markiplier. And now that Milkman Mark himself has joined the party, it's time to go over skills. The other part that's different from Pokemon. Uh, yeah. All the ability- See all this shit? All that shit? Yeah. You get points as you level up. There's skill points and then you can just put them into the skills like it's RPG like every monster is its own class and there are just so many fucking skills and every monster does their own thing and it's just very complicated and I'm not going to explain it any further But while I'm hopping around, let, let me tell you about uh, the map so far. So, so so far from what I've gathered, it's like a Metrovania style game. You know, the monsters have abilities, which I find out about later. The monsters, monsters each have abilities. My starter monster let, allows me to float. Markiplier will allow me to burn vines. Other monsters allow me to do other things, like the slime allows me to activate water orbs. You know, they have their own unique uses. And then the maps, or the map and the trial itself, is built around uh, using these different abilities. Also, in this scene here, uh, the, the person that's watching me says that I was streaming this live on Twitch. You know, you can come on down, watch me on Twitch. To watch this game instead of bearing with me trying to sum up this 
this game, uh, even though I barely know anything about it. Anyway, it's a Metroidvania style game. Monsters have abilities. So instead of, you know, getting the Varia suit, you know, you have different monsters. And, you know, there's monsters that break open walls, to walk on spikes, to get through small crevices. Uh, you know, a lot of variety. Talk is the question. Okay. Six, right? Got him. Vero. Uh. God. I'm bad with names. It's a bird. You know what? I'm stealing names now. Okay. Anyway. And this is where I find out that Venti is the motherfucking goat. This bird has so many buffs and buff synergies. Buffs also count toward the combo meter. So every single one of these buff modifiers is like adds an extra buff also adds this buff to an extra enemy all those are extra hits that add to the combo meter and all the buffs increase damage they the random buffs also give different effects and everything just stacks and stacks and stacks on top of each other there's no limit to how many buffs and because you have three monsters in your party i have venti going first just buffing up the rest of my team and then i'll proceed to sweep through especially because psychic just adds an additional 40 percent damage to each attack church is there's no 40 percent damage hit like come on how could you just not take that so venti is definitely a solid in my attacking team and so as i'm exploring this very metroidvania-esque world i find the person that teaches you that hey you can switch who's ever following you and hey they can interact with the world so that is good to know I also find a shopkeep I could buy items from him he doesn't have anything I need but I have been finding chests all around the world equipping items to my uh, to my team to increase their damage and then I find a locked door so something I'm coming back to later until it's at this point, the person in my chat, he's played the game, he knows uh, more stuff about it, he's been telling me some mechanics, so he tells me to start heading left, and then I stumble upon this encounter. Yo, what is, what are those little guys? The hell? Alright, sidekick. Oh, what's that? Uh, glory. Increases critical chance by 10%. Oh, what a coincidence. I got some critical. <laughs> and... I'm just gonna explode that guy, because I think that guy's gonna die from the poison, it looks like. No, it did not die. Damn it. I should've just... I should've just double-tapped him. I should've double-tapped him. Okay, yeah, those those fury swipes are pretty good. <laughs> Alright, just gonna do this feather storm and get him out of here. Combo! Okay, the claws are... Alright, beat him the fuck up, please. So I have... Oh, one of them has barrier. Cool. Slime shot.
crit zerker. Okay, so you stacked them with crits. Okay. Four star, I have a chance. Cat zerker egg! <laughs> Hell yeah! <laughs> Got him. And so, thanks to... Thanks to him, I now have a new knowledge about this animal, this creature, this monster called the Cat Zerker. I now know that he has crits for days. And so, I think of the best possible name ever to be conceived in the universe. Cat Attack. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Fucking cat attack. <laughs> and so now I know you must be wondering. Now you have five monsters. Hmm. What's gonna be your sixth monster? You pretty much have everything that you've seen so far. You got another DPS, you got a buff machine, you got a healer slime that also weakens and debuffs people. What else can you add to your party? Well, reluctantly, I added this guy. Um. Huh. I don't think I want these guys on my team. They're too freaky looking. <laughs> kind of look like you want to fight them, to be honest. Uh, what does this tablet say? Ribbon. I. <laughs> I'm still distracted. What does the ribbon do? <laughs> Health and mana. Okay. Um. You know what? You're the te you're like a pseudo tank. So here you go. Uh. Defense. Oh wait, no wait. You take the belt with the crit damage. There you go. And then Markiplier. Uh, actually, I'm 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 Markiplier. I'm gonna have to take your weapon from you. Uh. But I will give you the shell in return, and cat attack, you can have the cestus, even though you're using a sword right now. Health. Uh, uh, who needs the health? I mean, he kind of needs the health. Sure, Bob, go ahead, have a ribbon. Alright, you know what? Just so I can say I fought these guys, get over here. Their names are Yaoi. <laughs> okay. No, it's just the design for, is like a little weird for me. All right. Victory. And I beat them quite easily. Earned myself a nice uh, five-star achievement five stars. to boot. The, and I get the, the Yaoi star. egg, of course. But... What I did know is, apparently a Yaoi is also a pretty good tank mi monster. So, you know, its skills are very useful for tanking. So, you know what, I kept it. But now, it's on to naming the beast. Yaoi. Since his name is Yaoi... There we go, Howie Mandel. Like I told you before, my names make no sense. Also, I messed up Howie Mandel's name. I know that now. It's one L, not two. So, can't fix it. <laughs> Doesn't matter. He is now Howie Mandel. Why is he Howie Mandel? No one will know. I don't know. I just made it. Deal with it. I'm gonna use Howie Mandel, but I'm gonna use him. But, now that we have our sixth member, it's time to actually, you know, move the story along. So we go meet the old man. Oh. 
I went the way I was supposed to go. <laughs> this is an old friend of mine. Hey, Veron Londonosi, I bought you a new student. He just hatched his first monsters. I thought you might teach him some lessons. So you're the new spectral keeper, huh? Folk called me old Veron. I've made my home at the end of the Keeper's Trail, so I can teach all you greenhorns about your new duties as fully-fledged monster keepers. But first, let's battle to see if you're worthy of the title. Alright, bye. Uh. I raised these blobs myself. They're stronger than the ones you've seen so far. As you can see, the level is much higher. You can also see the weaknesses. Yeah. Um. Hmm. Alright, uh. And so I proceeded to beat his slimes into submission. He really should have came at me with something stronger than just three level five slimes. But, you know, I only got a three star, so it's fine. So, but after the battle, he hits me with this. You've walked the Keeper's Trail and defeated my monsters. However, if I'm a monster keeper, you need to complete one more test. Young Keeper, the next test will be much more challenging. You should prepare for it first. The monsters have free skill points. Use them now and use them wisely. And so, with this warning in well, mind, I take a step uh, back. You know, just in case I don't I'm hit any triggers, like, by getting too close. I assign trail. my skill but points. You. I take a deep breath. Yeah. And I go the other way. You can't blame me. The man just said, Hey, boss fight. And I decided that, Hey, I want to go get all the other treasures that I missed. And the, the, the guy in the comments is like, You gotta go back. He's got some butterscotch candy for you. Which I knew was a lie, because he literally just said boss fight. Anyway... I level up a little bit. I explore around, get some more chests, get some more items. I don't find any more new Pokemon other than those fucking rocks, which only drop potatoes for some fucking reason. Anyway, not gonna start around about that. I come back to the old man to do the boss fight. Yo, what's this? That better not just be your tea kettle. Have you prepared for the real test? Yes, I'm ready. Good! You show bravery, but this time you're not facing a normal monster. You're facing a tea kettle! <laughs> Particularly powerful monsters are often described as champions. They have more health, do more damage, and can act multiple times a turn. It is your job as a monster keeper to take care of them. So it's only fitting to beat one to become a member of the order of monster keepers. Show me what you're made of. And he is dead. Beautiful. Victory. Four turns. Four stars. Alright. What'd I get out of that? Shell, iron, potions. Alright. Simple. Venti leveled up. Cat attack leveled up. Congratulations, young one. You have defeated your first champion, and therefore you're now a keeper aspirant. Nothing more is required of you. However, stay a while and listen, won't you? <laughs> stay a while and listen. <laughs> because there are things going on in the sanctuary that trouble me. You see, monsters can become this powerful by normal means, and champions usually don't accept other monsters besides them. Or keeper in control of them. Champions are always an anomaly, quite rare in nature. I enhanced this goal myself to make it stronger, but even I couldn't control it for longer periods of time, so I leave it deactivated most of the time. Recently, keeper rangers have been finding an unusual amount of champions around the sanctuary. I regularly receive letters by Vero Mail from rangers who are stuck in the distant reaches of the sanctuary, fighting against champions. If it weren't for my old bones, I'd go out there myself, but at least I can keep the Keeper's Trail safe. I trapped the champion in the caves in this area. You can take care of it if you fill up to the task. Oh, here's the key. 
before you go, there's one more lesson I want to teach you. Don't worry, I don't have any other monsters for you to fight. The lesson is about feeding your monsters. Oh, apples. Potatoes. Feeding your monsters will boost their stats. Caring for your monsters this way is vital to the Facebook Champion monsters. But a monster always profits from the last three food items to give it. Now, good luck on the road. And so, newfound knowledge that the world is in trouble. Champions are everywhere. Keepers are being held hostage by these monsters in areas. I, it's now my job, nay, my duty, to go seek them out and free them from their eternal struggle. And I also learned that, hey, I can feed my little monsters food and then they get more stats. So that's always fun. And now, for the real boss fight of the area. Yes. Oh! He's... Okay, yeah, Bob definitely needs to go in there. Alright, I'm sorry, Howie. I hyped you up and shit, but oh yeah, how he's not good in the ring here. How he's not good in the ring here. Alright. So we're gonna have Venti, Bob, and Cat Attack. Let's go. Alright. Venti's coming in with the assists. Awesome. Gave him agility. Nice. Alright, we're gonna start off with a nice, simple acid rain. Actually, we get poison off on the bat, off the bat, right here. Poison's always nice to have. Let's try to equip some bleed on the boy. Give him some bleed. Beautiful. Ow. That is painful. Alright, but I can deal with it. Alright, power buffs going out. Ooh, look at those. Barrier, nice. Alright, so we're gonna go with Acid Rain here. Armor Break. Uh, we're gonna go for more bleed. Or claws. Critical damage is 50. Uh, let's go for just damage, right? Instead of bleed, let's just go for damage. Go! Whoo, look at that damage. Alright. Regular attack, that's fine. Oh no, you didn't. Okay, I thought that was a frozen effect. I was about to be pissed. I was like, you did not tell me anything about people to freeze me. Okay, so. He's already poisoned. I don't think I can get another poison off one of them. Uh, heal, cat attack. Alright, and we'll go in for a nice... Claws. Get some crits in. Hopefully. No. All right, one more turn, and it, this is this is wrapped up. What an easy champion! What was I scared of? Get the fuck out of here! Slime shot, melted, easy, four star. Come on! I got a banana plus. Yo, crit chance! Ooh, that's a lot of XP though. And this is where I ended that stream. Not because I wanted to, but because the weather knocked my fucking power out, corrupted my footage, and then I had to record everything off of Twitch because I didn't trust any third party apps that says, oh, you can download your Twitch VODs through our app. Just download it and then you, you click Della. Fuck that shit. Anyway, this is the end of the video. So if you made it to the end of the video, I appreciate it very much. Go ahead and leave a like. Leave a comment. If you want to see more of this, go ahead. 
go ahead and uh, comment what you want to see more of. And uh, yeah, uh, by the way, sorry I haven't uploaded. Uh, I didn't want to upload rounds content. I just didn't. Alright, bye! <laughs>